Dry needling might seem like a very intimidating procedure, and it might be even more intimidating with the thought of adding electrical stimulation to it. Electrical stimulation can have many benefits and might even enhance the outcomes or comfort of your session. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of how dry needling with electrical stimulation works and if it's the right fit for you. Hi, I'm Mason McAnally. I'm a treating physical therapist and certified dry needling specialist with EW Motion Therapy. I dry needle daily, and most often I use electrical stimulation during the procedure. Today, I want to review with you how electrical stimulation works with dry needling, what the benefits of electrical stimulation with dry needling might be, and when it may not be the best fit for you. Let's dive right in. Let's discuss how electrical stimulation with dry needling works. When your practitioner inserts a dry needle into your muscle, they may apply a small device that will generate an electrical current. This current is simply used to elicit a twitch response or a small muscle contraction. Whether your practitioner uses one needle or multiple needles, they may do it for a duration of a few seconds to a few minutes to get the desired effect that you would like. Let's talk about uses of dry needling with electrical stimulation. The first use for electrical stimulation would be those patients who have chronic pain. If you have chronic pain, your muscles may be stuck in what we call a pain spasm cycle. The second use for electrical stimulation would be to what we call retrain a dysfunctional muscle. Some people may have a condition where their muscles don't contract how they would like. The use of the electrical stimulation can elicit that muscle contraction even though you feel like you may not be able to. This can help retrain that muscle. Let's talk about the benefits of dry needling with electrical stim. The number one benefit is pain relief. If you've been in pain for a long time, the stim can help reduce that pain. It can also decrease muscle tone, improve the flexibility of that muscle, or even improve the range of motion of that joint. The application of electrical stimulation to the needling can also recruit local blood flow. This helps with the healing response of that area. Overall, electrical stimulation can improve muscle function when used with dry needling. There may be certain circumstances where you would not want to use electrical stimulation with dry needling. One of those situations is if you have an implanted electrical device, such as a pacemaker or even a spinal stimulator. Other circumstances, such as active tumor or infection, you may not want to utilize electrical stimulation or dry needling at all. If you have any anxiety about the use of electrical stimulation, let your practitioner know. Be open and honest and they can help you find the right solution for you. Now you know more about dry needling when applied with electrical stimulation. Even without electrical stimulation, dry needling may be the right answer for you when it comes to muscle pain and tension. Click the link in our description below to watch our video, What is Dry Needling? This video goes into more detail about dry needling and how it can benefit you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.